Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Todd Williams of Bristol. I mentioned earlier this week that my grandfather was one of the founders of this radio station, WIHS, and his faith and the vision God gave him. I remember when I was a kid, he used to tell me that the greatest privilege in life is to serve God, to seek his kingdom, and that the greatest power for good was to invoke the name of Jesus. My, my parents were missionaries in the Philippines, and, and I remember them saying, and they were quoting someone else, but if God has called you to serve him, don't stoop to become a king. And again, this idea of the greatest privilege. You know, Jesus said in, in Matthew chapter 6, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. What are all these things? Well, just the verses before, he said, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink or how you'll be clothed. Like God says, you're worth way more than birds, way more than flowers. And the God who takes care of the birds and the flowers, he's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of me. And so seek first the kingdom. It's the greatest privilege to put the kingdom of God first in our lives and the greatest power is to invoke the name of Jesus. In, in Acts chapter 4, well, in Acts chapter 3, Peter and John were walking into Jerusalem, and there was the man who was begging, and they had no money. And so they said, gold and silver I don't have, but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus, rise up on the walk. And the man went walking and leaping and praising God, and it was a beautiful moment. And then the Pharisees and the high priest found about it. They threw Peter and John in jail. And then the next day they questioned him. And while they were questioning him, Peter, it says, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness showed to a man who was lame and are being asked how he was healed, then know this. It is by the name of Jesus Christ that this man stands before you healed. It's the name of Jesus. Peter was proud to say it, wanted everyone to know. It was the name of Jesus. You know, the name of Jesus is powerful. Just a few verses later, Peter goes on to say, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. It's the name of Jesus, the kingdom of God, and the name of Jesus. But that leads to the question, what in this last week have you done for the kingdom of God? I'm not interested in hearing the story 10 years ago. That's great, and it really is great. But I want to know, what have you done this last week? Answer that in your own heart to the Lord for the kingdom of God. Are you really seeking first the kingdom? So many times we don't. Sometimes I wonder, is what I'm doing for God, can it be duplicated by my wonderful neighbors who live in my, in my neighborhood, but they don't know Jesus? In our church, is what we're doing for God, can that be duplicated by the nonprofit down the street? If so, then that's a problem. And usually it's because we're not invoking the name of Jesus, the greatest power for good. And so that's the second question. This last week, what have you done? And intentionally you did it in the name of Jesus. And you let everybody know. Maybe you gave a glass of cold water in the name of Jesus. Jesus said if you did that, it was like you gave it to him. Maybe you visited somebody in the name of Jesus. Maybe you helped a widow in your neighborhood, brought her a meal or, 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 or did the gutters, but you did it in the name of Jesus. What have you done in the name of Jesus and for the kingdom of God? And if it's not much, maybe rearrange your priorities so you make time to do that. This is Pastor Todd Williams of Bridge Community Church in Bristol. You've been listening to Pastor Todd Williams of Bristol, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.